Saturday. It's still pretty early. I'm going to drink my hot lemon water. I'll explain why later. I will put a face on and then I will chat to you a little bit. afternoon good evening whenever you're watching this welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video and another episode of the level up of season series if you're new here my name is olivia and i am a online coach i am a bikini posing coach and of course a bikini athlete and a bodybuilder myself and i'm finally back um i mentioned earlier videos are a little harder to get out right now because of everything going on but here i am and i'm back and i'm not going to ramble on this time i'm going to get straight into it but first, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave it a like if you do. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss my videos. And you can head over to Instagram and follow me there for even more content that I usually post on the daily. So what are we gonna talk about today? I've been struggling for, it's been a while. It's been years. What is in my hair? I've been struggling for a few years out with my digestion. Um, I'm always switching things and changing things to find what works. Um, essentially, I just struggle with bloating and things like that. You know, I can't eat a lot of foods because they will just bloat me straight away. And sometimes I wake up on an empty stomach, bloated and in pain. So there have been little measures that I've been taking to try and manage that. Um, we started some of those little protocols in prep. Obviously your digestion really takes a hit in prep when your food is so low, when there's minimum fiber um, and things like that. So digestion starts to take a hit in prep. And then after prep, obviously my aim was to kind of battle those, battle those issues. Um, I still am, but I have found a few things that have been working with me. I also decided to take you on a little morning routine, see what I do in the morning. Now, I am sorry if you expected me to be doing stretching and journaling and meditating i really do not have time for this as you saw i woke up just before 6 a.m today which is pretty standard i wake up anywhere from five to six in the morning usually these six days a week before work now today is saturday it is a day off my job but it is never a day off work for me so first of all i wanted to put myself together because it makes me feel so much better when i have a little bit of a face on and i have that little bit of time in the morning to spend put my makeup on listen to some podcasts or watching some youtube videos today i'm actually watching um julia renee my favorite ifbb pro bonus athlete um i'm watching her morning routine and getting some info for my own i don't know i've had my planned hour planned out already um but yeah so first things first um i start my day with hot lemon water and no it is not to detox my body it is not to help me burn body fat it is purely for the reason because i stopped drinking coffee in the morning if you've been on this channel for a while or if you know me personally you know i am a caffeine addict 
coffee addict to be exact. I am a barista, which makes sense. Um, but I love coffee. I love the taste of coffee. I drink four to five, sometimes more um, cups a day. Obviously at work it's easy, it is on tap for me. And always, first thing whenever I woke up was always coffee before anything, before before water, before anything was always coffee. And I started reading about it um, and it makes sense. In the morning when you wake up, your cortisol levels, so your stress hormones, your stress levels in your body are elevated to help you wake up. It's a natural process that just helps your body to wake up and get ready for the day so by caffeinating in the morning it's kind of defeating the purpose of that and what it also is supposed to help with is that afternoon slump now listen to me after work after my eight hour shift is when i go to the gym and i'm usually pretty beat i'm usually wrecked going to the gym and i have to say i'm on week three now with no coffee first thing in the morning um i have my hot lemon water instead um because i love the taste of it um gives me some vitamin c it's warm, I need something warm in the morning. And for some reason tea on an empty stomach just kind of hurts my stomach. Um, yeah, a lot of things hurt my stomach which you'll you'll find out throughout the video. Um, so I do hot lemon water and I really enjoy it. Um, my first coffee will probably go in in about two hours. Well, maybe one and a half now that I'm up for a while. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down with you today and chat you through things I have been doing to battle with my digestion, to work on my gut health, maintaining or improving my gut health. Um, there is quite a few tricks I have for that now. Uh, but first things first, it is 10 to 7 in the morning and I am starting my first block of posing clients at 8.30 today, which still gives me a bit of time. So I need to get cracking on my find online client check-ins. I'll probably do one or two now, then get ready for my posing lesson. Um, I might show you a bit of that as well and somewhere in between today I will sit down I have notes on my phone to chat you through everything I do to to work on fixing my gut health but yeah I am sorry if you expected a really aesthetic morning routine this is what it looks like for me I get up I weigh myself drink my water put a face on and I'm straight to work I've got a few check-ins to get through today because Saturday is always my busiest check-in day because it's a day off work so I really need to get cracking on here. It's a busy day as always. Check-ins, posing, check-ins, training, shopping, cooking. But that's how it is in my life and I love it. So I'm gonna to get to work. Actually, one more thing. You won't see me journaling, but you will see me do a to-do list because I have a lot to do. But it's just a little diary off Amazon. I'm just literally gonna write out all my tasks that need to be done today. And then check-ins and I will see you then in the next clip probably downstairs and I'll show you a few of the supplements I've been taking and then I will probably sit down in my pink chair and I'll talk you through my protocols so I will see you in the next clip when I'm finished up here can we just take a moment and appreciate my clients and how well they've been doing they've been putting in so much work and are getting such amazing results this girl here she didn't know anything about the gym she hated her body and now she absolutely dominates the weight section and I keep getting messages of her saying how more confident she is how she's rocking shorts and crop tops in the gym and I absolutely love that same here with my girl um, she might be my first prep client we are currently in an off season trying to build a muscle now this is only two months of work for us, going from no glutes to an amazing glute pop, shoulders absolutely popping and she's already started taking posing lessons with me um, over a year out from her first show so, so proud of my girls. I am still taking on clients by the way for the month of February, I still have a few spaces, very limited because I'm a very busy gal and I need to make sure my clients get 100% for me, that's why I don't take on too many clients. Um, but I still have a couple of spaces left for February. Same with posing. I still have slots available for the second half of February and then obviously March um, for posing lessons if you're looking to book in with me. So don't be afraid to get in contact with me through Instagram preferably or I will pop a link in the bio with some links to my forms that you can just fill out and I'll contact you. So yeah. Little break from the laptop, I'm back in my kitchen. Yeah, taking care of my gut health starts in the very morning, as you saw, and it continues on throughout the morning. I get most of those little tasks out of the way first, 
So now I will take a couple of supplements that I know I can take on an empty stomach because I haven't eaten yet. That is, <clears throat> that is actually thing number two. I do not eat in the morning. Um, not because I'm trying to lose weight, not because I'm fasting. It's just, that is what works best for me. I am not hungry in the morning and I want to give my digestion a bit of a break. I want to let my body wake up before I force it to digest any food. And if I'm being honest, I'm just not hungry in the morning. I am way hungry in the evening, especially because I train late. So I like to save a bit more food for then and make sure I'm fueling myself enough pre-workout and post-workout, which are the most important meals for me right now um, in my off season. So yeah, I don't eat in the morning, but I do take some supplements that I know agree with my stomach, um, even with no food in it. And yeah, they're very digestion focused. So I will show you them now. So first things first, I am starting with glutamine. Glutamine is an amino acid. Obviously we do naturally produce it in the body, but sometimes we need a bit of help. So glutamine is amazing for your gut health. It helps digestion, recovery, everything. So I take five grams or one scoop of this first. Then I move on to vitamin C. You can never have enough vitamin C, especially after this season, I have been sick nonstop. I was sick four times um, after prep in the space of like two months. So I'm definitely trying to stay on top of my vitamin C and my multivitamins and all of that. I'm actually waiting on a package with my, with my new multivit that my coach recommended to me after my blood work came back because there are some areas we need to address, but I want to do a whole video on that. That'll probably be my next video. I'm going to talk to you about my blood work and um, what I'm doing to fix a few issues after prep because there is a little, it's nothing major to be concerned about but there is some things that I need to take care of if I want to compete again this year. Then we have creatine, not really for digestion purposes but I do take it in the morning with everything else because it's easy and I don't forget so five grams of creatine and then the star of the show that I used to take back in the day and then I stopped for some reason and now it's back. Apple cider vinegar with the mother that I just got in Tesco. Now, does it work? I don't know. Does it hurt me? No, so I'm gonna take it, um, but no. So in general, this is a part of the points I'm going to be talking about. Um, apple cider vinegar and fermented foods. Um, do help a lot because fermented foods are essentially prebiotics which feed your probiotics in your body and if you don't know we have both good and bad bacteria in our gut and we need a balance of them um we do need bad bacteria which i know sounds a bit strange because we don't want any bad things in our body but we do need a good balance of good and bad bacteria for healthy good health so as i said it doesn't hurt me i'm going to keep doing it um, but yeah, I'm gonna put this concoction together, drink that and then get back upstairs and I will sit in my beautiful pink chair and talk to you further on. <laughs> oh, never gets easier. Hello! Pink chair is out and let's have a chat. I've got a couple of notes on my phone as well so I don't forget anything. Um, let's talk about gut health. First of all, why is it so important? Um, especially to me as an athlete. Because if I don't feel well, I don't perform well in the gym. Um, if I don't feel well physically, I don't feel well emotionally and mentally, which doesn't help when you're trying to achieve your goals. Obviously, you want to keep a positive mindset going to your training stick into your food and I know myself if I feel like crap I don't want to train I don't feel comfortable training um, I feel like everybody's looking at me because I'm so bloated and for me it's very visible when I get bloated I look like six months pregnant and it's not just that it's painful you're in pain training is uncomfortable wearing your clothes is uncomfortable and you just want to curl up into a ball and hide away from the world so that is something I've been trying to fix. Um, there's good days, there's bad days. Today's an ugh day. I, I woke up loaded, my weight was up a little bit. 
but I know it's not because I'm eating too much or anything. I'm actually, my calories have actually dropped a little before Christmas and we kind of kept it at that just so I can actually enjoy a bit more freedom at the weekends, which I love. But that leads to more pain because not that I overdo it at the weekends, sometimes I do, but it's just because I eat different foods that I normally would and that hurts my stomach too. But let's break it down step by step. I've got my water. So this is first things first, water. Make sure you stay hydrated. Um, your body needs water and it needs it for digestion. It needs it to ease that digestion process. So I try to get it about five liters a day, which is very easy for me when I wake up so early and I train. So water number one, tick. Oh, you've seen my hot lemon water in the morning. Um, obviously I said I'm doing this because I'm not drinking coffee in the morning. It's not to detox my body. Your body does that naturally. Um, it's not to detox my body, it's not to lose belly fat. Remember, you cannot spot reduce fat. Your body will choose where you're going to lose fat first by sticking to a calorie deficit or eating less calories than your body needs to maintain its weight. You would have seen um, my supplements that I take in the morning, so the glutamine, the vitamin C, the apple cider vinegar. So that is all part of my morning routine, day in, day out. But what's next? So let's talk about food aspect first. Obviously, food will be the major component of the digestion process. Um, so this is where you really need to look at first. Because more than likely, if you're struggling with digestive issues, it's probably, probably, um, not necessarily, but it's probably down to the foods you're eating. So over the years, I have kind of figured out what hurts my stomach and what doesn't. And I just try to stick, especially on the daily with my meal plan, even though I'm free to track macros, I'm free to eat whatever I want, really, if it fits into my macros. But if I was to eat everything I wanted, I would be in pain 24-7 because so many foods just don't agree with me. For starters, meat. Apart from white meat, I can't really eat anything else. I can't eat red meats. I can't eat fish, fatty fish, and I don't really like fish anyway. I can't eat pulses, so like your lentils, your chickpeas, which is a shame because I love them. Um, what else can't I eat? There is a list of things I can't eat. Um, and sometimes foods that I know I can eat will still hurt my stomach sometimes because my stomach just decides to be like that. So sometimes it's a matter of just eating something and seeing how it makes me feel or like skin on certain vegetables um, like cucumbers, courgettes, potatoes. I have to peel all of those if I want to eat those because the skin hurts my stomach, um, which does kind of make sense because skin of vegetables does contain cellulose, which is a plant fiber and our bodies can't really digest it. Now, normal people will just excrete that. Unfortunately, my stomach struggles with that and it causes me a lot of pain. I've also mentioned the inclusion of the fermented foods. So with my meals, I with my savory meals, I try to eat a bit of sauerkraut, but I make sure it's 100% sauerkraut. It's not mixed with any other vegetables like carrots and stuff um, to bulk it up and sell it for more. I make sure it's pure sauerkraut. I just get in the polo shop actually, in the fresh section, not the jarred section. So once you open that one, it ha can have to go in the fridge and be eaten in a few days. But that's very good. So fermented foods, I usually just stick to sauerkraut, sometimes some pickles. Um, something fell. So I've kind of known that since since I was a child, really. Um, I'm Polish, so fermented foods in our culture are big anyway. I used to eat a lot of sauerkraut as a kid, sauerkraut soups. So I kind of knew that. I stepped away from it for a while, but now I've definitely brought them back in. So fermented foods. There's way more fermented foods you can have out there. You can have your kombucha, which is fermented tea, which I don't like, I won't drink. You can have things like kimchi, which is kind of like, I think it's more like an Asian sauerkraut version. So there's loads of options to choose there. But why fermented foods? I mentioned it when I was downstairs. Um, we have good and bad bacteria in our gut and we need a good balance of them. So your sauerkraut, your pickled foods, your fermented foods, are prebiotics. Now, we're always told to take probiotics for our digestion, our gut health. However, those probiotics need something to feed off of. So that's where prebiotics comes in, which your probiotics feed off of. So that's a whole thing. Um, basically, the take home point is you need a balance of good and bad bacteria for a healthy gut. The biggest thing that I have seen the most results from it's something we started in prep and I have carried it on into my off season and pretty much it's going to be 
a part of my regular life now, which is cutting out sweeteners. I cut out sweeteners before my second show because we really noticed that my digestion just wasn't there. Um, I was constantly bloated, my midsection just wasn't tight even though my calories were very low and everything else was on point. And we decided to try cutting out sweeteners and two weeks later, I think I lost like two inches of my waist just because all the inflammation came down. So yeah, I have no sweeteners um, out of choice. I'm not forced to do this, but it really helps. Um, it has really eliminated the level of pain that I've been in. So, pawn out. Um, it's still early, my brain is still not functioning. Uh, okay, so what kind of sweeteners am I having and what kind of sweeteners I am not having? So I'm not having any of those like candle powder sweeteners, your Splendas, your tablets and your coffee, which I used to have five of them in one coffee. So there's none of that. Um, no flavor drops, um, no flavor drops in my coffees, no flavor drops in my oats, no sweeteners in my oats. Um, so these are kind of the easiest things to cut out. Then come in the fizzy drinks. Um, I am a sucker for a Pepsi Max Cherry, but it has become a very rare treat right now. I do have one every now and then, maybe at the weekend or something, but I used to have one every day or two, especially in prep to kill that hunger. Um, so unfortunately, no fizzy drinks, and with that comes no energy drinks and no pre-workout because they are all artificially sweetened. So yeah, that is a little difficult, but this is also why I drink so much coffee because I can't take pre-workout, I can't drink my Monster, I can't drink my Red Bulls. So coffee is really the only thing I can turn to for caffeine. Yeah, that is kind of it with sweeteners. Um, obviously I've cut out the majority of them. The only things I will keep in because I simply enjoy it and I know it doesn't hurt my stomach as much is cream of rice, which obviously is artificially sweetened. But cream of rice is so easy to digest. Um, I have it after training, usually sometimes before training. So I, I know I'm okay with that. I might get a little bloated for like half an hour, but it passes really quickly. So I do cream of rice and I still include whey, but I do make sure it's a high quality whey. I usually, now in prep, I do stick to 100% isolate very strictly. Now in um, in my off season, I want to save a bit of money and I get regular whey, but I do make sure it's high quality. I usually use either rule one or perform. Um, I get all those on my core supplements. You can use my code Olivia for some money off. They're very good um, company with supplements. I've been ordering them from them for years, especially if you're in Ireland, you get free shipping over 70 euro and next day delivery. And yeah, you get 10% off my code. So amazing. So yeah, these are the things I still keep in, but I do keep it to a minimum. I try to have two 15 to 20 gram portions of whey a day and the rest of my protein I get from chicken mainly, chicken, egg whites, sometimes turkey, and obviously my fats and some protein come from nut butter because I eat a lot of nut butter because I'm sick of avocado number one from prep. I can't really have animal fats, so peanut butter, dark chocolate and an occasional egg is kind of the only fat source in my diet too. So as you see, I am very, very limited to my choices. That kind of covers the food aspect, which is the most important. Um, I just choose foods that I know won't hurt my stomach. I excluded sweeteners, I've included a few supplements and I've kind of just changed my morning routine up a little bit with the no coffee thing and I have seen a difference. I've been feeling much better. I am not waking up in pain. Now towards the end of the day with a lot of stomach volume from all the meals that I've eaten, I do still have a bit of discomfort, but I need to eat something. So next, what else is important? Um, food is not the only thing we can work on to maintain a healthy gut and Eliminate some digestion problems. Um, first of all, they kind of come together is stress and sleep. Stress is an absolute killer and I can tell you that I've experienced it on my own body many times. When I'm stressed mentally, emotionally, like let's say work stress or prep stress, my body is under stress. I My digestion takes such a hit and I know well it's because of stress because we saw it a lot on prep. I was very stressed going into work and Monday to Friday, my digestion would be in bits. 
my weight would be going up every week, every day. Yeah, we had to take a little break because my camera decided to die on me. I don't know why I was charging it all night. Um, and it is just dying on me, so I don't know. I, I'm using a different charger, so that could be the case because I don't know where I put my camera charger, but I'm gonna find it today. So let's keep going. Um, stress and sleep, which I said come hand in hand. Stress management is very important, and I know it's easier said than done because I am stressed 24 seven, and it really shows on my body. When I'm stressed, I'm bloated. When I'm stressed, I'm in pain. And that's just something we just have to try and work on. There is many ways we can tackle our stress and learn to handle it. Stress is always going to be there. It's just a matter of learning how to deal with it. So I don't know, for some people it could be journaling, it could be reading, it could be reading to podcasts, or sometimes just trying to be in tune with yourself and you're like, yeah, I'm stressed, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's control what we can. That That's the thing. You need to learn to control what you can and what cannot be controlled cannot be controlled and we don't stress about it. And then obviously with that comes sleep as well, especially deep sleep. Um, I have been sleeping seven to eight hours a night. However, my deep sleep for some reason isn't isn't optimal. So I'm not really sure why. Um, it's something I'm still looking into. But I do feel after a good night's sleep, I always wake up feeling good. So that is that. Um, and in terms of sleep as well, and food actually, um, timing, meal timings. You don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on your body with digestion and you don't want to be eating every hour or two. So spacing your meals out. I try to space my meals out every three to four hours. Um, I do have five meals a day. So I've learned that that's what works best for me. And then especially the last meal, the first and last meal is kind of the most important. As I said, I push my first meal out a little bit. I'm probably not going to eat until about 11 today when I'm finished with my posing clients. And then my last meal, I do try to eat it as early as I can, about 90 to two hours before bed, just to let my body digest the food before I get to sleep and before, so my body can switch off. You know, it does digestion and it can switch off and sleep rather than me trying to sleep and my body trying to digest at the same time. And lastly, really, there's not that much to it. Let me just double check. I might take you along, along on a few bits today. I might show you a bit of my posing work and I don't think I'll take you to the gym today because I do need to get in and out. But I am cooking tonight, so I might show you that because it is our off plan evening. So I've decided to not go out for food today because I know it'll make me feel like crap. So I'm gonna cook a nice home cooked meal. So that is all for now. Um, as I said, morning supplements, um, pushing out that coffee, sleep, stress, Eating foods I know sit well and I know that is a lot of trial and error. Sometimes you just have to eat something and see how you feel. Um, but then sometimes it might just hurt you another day and yeah, it's just trial and error really. Um, sweeteners, this is the main thing. Okay, this camera is just not playing ball. I don't even know what I said in the last clip. Um, but I think I've pretty much covered all the points there. Um, I think my last point was about sweeteners. So that was the biggest thing for me that I've seen the most help from is cutting out sweeteners and it is hard but trust me it gets easier like when I cut them out um, after having five sweeteners in my coffee now I find one sweetener really sweet so it does get a bit easier um, you just kind of have to get through the first two three weeks and then it gets a lot easier but now I think I've pretty much covered all the points I hope you found this part of the video informative and somewhat helpful I might go through my Instagram later as well, see if any of you have popped any questions in my question box that maybe I can touch on as well. But for now, it is time to get my heels out, bring them downstairs and teach my girls posing, which I'm so excited for. I love teaching posing. This is why I do it. Um, I'm also going to have my first coffee right before I do it. Um, it's been two hours now since I'm up, so it is time for coffee and I'm going to need it if I'm going to give all my energy to my girls and then to my check-ins and then training. So I will see you in the next clip. I might take you along for a bit more of today. As I said, I might show you some of that posing. I might show you some of my food. Now, see, the thing is today, I'm not really sticking to my meal plan because I'm having an off-plan meal in the evening. So what I do before that is I usually drop the carbs, I up the protein and I just eat very plain foods that I know won't hurt. So I'm not going into my off-plan in pain. Um. That is another thing, obviously we still want to enjoy food and sometimes it means sacrificing um, my gut health <laughs> and my digestion and I know I might be in a bit of pain tomorrow but it's fine, it's fine, I'll deal with it, it's worth it, it's worth the memories of my family. 
um, and then obviously a day or two and things just settle out again. So I will not keep you here any longer. I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. If you did, please drop it a like, hit the subscribe button and yeah, I will see you in the next clip or you can also head over to my Instagram and follow me there because I'll definitely be posting there. I post there every day. Ciao, I'll see you later. Good, I'm just screenshotting as we go. Now, quarter turn to your right. Really pushing those glutes out, then lifting up our upper body. Yeah. Whilst keeping those legs locked in where they are. So remember what I said, we lock in the lower body, we keep it locked in and it doesn't move when we start rotating the upper. This is what it would look like. Too long. One, sit into the right, left, sit into the left, center, and arms. So as you would have seen, my posing is all done. I'm, I inserted it in the last clip. I had the best time teaching my girls this morning. One of the girls I thought is an absolute angel and she just put me in such a good headspace for the rest of the day. So it is half 12 now and I have finished my check-ins. I am done with all my clients. Um, I've had my first meal, which I didn't show you, which was very boring. It was just egg whites, rice cakes, turkey, and a protein pudding. And now I'm going to have my pre-workout meal, which is very light today because my stomach is a bit off. And I'm having my off-plan meal tonight that I'm cooking. Um, so I'm keeping it very light. Two plain rice cakes, five grams Biscoff, five grams nut butter with some salt, 20 grams of whey powder, mixed into a paste, and 30 grams of berries. So I ate my other meal like an hour ago, so I'm really not that hungry. That's why I'm keeping it very light. I'm gonna eat this, change, and off to the gym I head. I'm not going to show my training today just because it is a busy day and this camera just won't charge properly. I think it's my cable, seriously. So I know it wouldn't even last a session. But that is mainly it for today, really, um, regarding my digestion and what this video is focused on. And I will show you what I cooked tonight because, as I said, with my digestive issues, I need to be careful with the foods I choose. And yes, I am free to enjoy a takeaway or go out to a restaurant every weekend if I want to, but my stomach is not feeling too good today. And I don't want to be feeling like absolute crap tomorrow just because I wanted to eat something nice that will give me pleasure for like 10 minutes and then I would just be in pain for a day or two. So I'm actually doing a home cooked off plan meal. So I'll show you what I make. It's, um, I hope it's gonna be delicious. My mom is giving me a bit of help with her Polish salads. So we'll see how that goes. But for now, I'm going to eat, drink my coffee, second one today, and go lift some weights up and down. <laughs> It's upper body day today, so I knew today was going to be busy and I knew I might be tired after the week, so I did my heaviest leg session yesterday. So today is just upper and a few steps, a bit of cardio, and I'm done for the week. And I can actually relax tomorrow. So I'm gonna eat this up and I will see you in the next clip. So I will chat to you soon. As I mentioned, I am cooking tonight because you know, I told you my stomach wasn't feeling amazing, but to be honest, I've been planning this for a while now. So look at this. I've got my beautiful chicken breasts in the oven. Sweet potato fries in the air fryer. Tender stem, corn, halloumi. My boyfriend is making nachos. My mom made some amazing salads. So that is going to be our off plan meal tonight. And here is my own take on a Nando's. We've got all the good size you'd get at Nando's with our own spin to them. And I've got my baked chicken breast with light mayo, mozzarella, mushrooms, peppers, pesto, and a little bit of cheese on top. Got our halloumi, our Mexican rice, sweet potato fries, tender stem, and corn. I cannot wait to dig into this. This will be probably the last time you'll hear from me until I outro this video. So I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to drop it a like. Hello YouTube, it's me again and it's the next day. Thought I'd do a little outro to this video. So you saw my food last night that we made with my boyfriend and the help of my mom with her Polish salads. Um, it was absolutely amazing. So I made chicken breast with pesto, mozzarella, mushrooms, pepper, sweet corn and a little bit of 
cheese on top, a little bit more mozzarella on top and a little bit of um, light mayo. And with that we had sweet potato fries, tender some broccoli, corn on the cob, salads, bit of halloumi. So it was kind of like our own take on Nando's and I think it was much better than Nando's if I say so myself. I'm very happy with how the food turned out and I have to say my stomach was too. I wasn't in much pain at all and to be honest the meal wasn't very carb heavy apart from the carbs in your sweet potato fries and a little bit of the cabbage and stuff like that. It was mainly protein and fats which is to be honest ideal for an off-plan meal and I felt very good after it. We did have some ice cream after which did hurt my stomach a little bit but this just um, this just kind of shows another thing for me that I think I'm dairy intolerant. You know we usually end our weekend or are off plan with ice cream and I think it's usually what actually causes the most trouble for me so yeah I might do something about that. I might either skip it one week and see how I feel the next day if I'm still let's say as bloated um, as I normally would be after an off plan meal or maybe if my weight shoots up as much as it normally does after an off plan or one of the evenings maybe I could actually track macro track it in. I might try some vegan or dairy free ice cream and see how that makes me feel. Because on the daily I actually don't have a lot of dairy in my plan. Um, I have a little bit of cheese and that is pretty much it. The rest of my fats come from like peanut butter, dark chocolate, nuts and things like that. So that is definitely something I want to look into. As I said earlier on trial and error sometimes you just have to eliminate a certain food to see how you feel maybe bring it back in and then see how it makes you feel again trial and error that's how um that's the best way to pinpoint if you have any intolerances if you don't want to be going out doing intolerances tests which i have not done and i'm not going to um but that is all for me i hope you enjoyed the video i did go through some of my instagram questions but to be honest i pretty much answered them all so yeah that is pretty much everything for me. I hope you found the video informative. I hope I could have helped you in some way maybe if, with your struggles and if there's anything else you'd like me to touch on, maybe more detail on all of this, feel free to drop me questions in the comments and I will sure answer them um, either here or maybe on Instagram. Um, so make sure you follow me there. And stay tuned for the next video because I have just gotten my blood work back and I do want to have a little chat to you about my blood work and my competing plans for this year. So stay tuned. But for now, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Ciao.